hello scorpio how are you guys i hope you're doing well thank you so much for joining me and welcome okay so we're gonna go ahead and do your july 2020 reading uh this is going to be for scorpio sun moon rising and venus uh keep in mind guys these are pretty general readings so take what resonates with the rest there will be an extended in the description box and if you're interested in a personal you can check that as well in the description box all right Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, July 2020, horoscope spread, please. The 12th house spread. What does Scorpio need to know? One more Scorpio, and then we'll start. All right, so this came before as well. We have two tens, so we're definitely talking that you are at the finish line here. There we have the ten of cups, the emotional bliss, the satisfaction, the happiness. I feel like when I look at this combination right now, you or whoever you're connecting with, someone has been dreaming this, has been wanting this to the point of exhaustion. Very passionate, but again, it's reaching that limits. But this is how someone sees you, passionate, loving type of energy. Oh, wow. And there's the obsession here. Let's see, Scorpio. Emperor, control, what needs to be built? We're talking about foundation. Someone here also, it can be an Aries Taurus, but overall with the emperor is always about having the control to build something here, that firm foundation responsibility. Uh, mm, heartbreak. We're talking about some painful situation going on here. The emperor cannot handle the heartbreak here. And that's why there's that heaviness. They're trying to control. They're trying to control uh, that pain. They're trying to overcome that pain. All right. How are you looking here with a fool? So you are going to be starting something new here, um, Scorpio. It's your behavior, your attitude here. How you're going to see everything for July is to start opening up type of energy. It is the fool does mean a little bit a risky type of situation, taking a leap of faith taking a calculated risk of course you're a scorpio here but your attitude overall is going to start over start from the beginning remember we have a 10 and then here we have the full this is going to be you it's going to be a little bit here also with with the full not only that you might find yourself trusting here but also in this situation that you are having that certain se sense of um, naiveness in, in a little bit we will see how the whole thing is coming in but definitely starting over Okay, so what is happening here? Wow, two major arcanas, by the way. What is happening in the second house? Now, with the second house, we're talking here, for some of you, if you're dealing with a Taurus, there's passion and yearning here. If you're dealing with an Aries, there's a new beginning. But also the second house for all my Scorpios here, it is about your money, your possessions here, your values, your self-esteem. And there's very much, uh, with a strength card here, is a lot of power. Whatever you need to accomplish here, you're going to have that leadership uh, qualities because it, it is a Leo energy after all. So it's starting something that you feel very passionate when it comes to that money, possessions and values. Uh, having confidence in yourself here type of energy. Be careful also here not to kind of limit yourself when it comes um, to what you want to accomplish. But I'm getting a certain sense of confidence and self-esteem when it comes to your money. Okay, so what is happening here? There's going to be news coming in, especially when it comes uh, to your surroundings because the third house is communication. It is uh, your environment here. It is also your mind. For some of you, if you also have Mars, because this is very quick energy in the third house, things are gonna get uh, to move faster here. But some of you may find yourself doing short trips. If you've been waiting for some quick communication here, it's coming. This is fast energy very impulsive i will say watch a little bit here as well because this is mercury in sagittarius and it's falling in the third house which people might find you very direct your communication may be very blunt here you you all about you know kind of i will need to move forward if i think it i will say it very passionate but again it can be a little bit impulsive energy here okay so what is happening at home for you guys Okay, so we have the moon, cancer energy. Now, this is affecting your house, your, um, it can be parental here for some of you, your comfort, your roots, your family. And uh, with the moon, there's a lot of uncertainty. Things uh, may be fluctuating here with the, uh, with the moon energy. 
especially again mercury is in cancer right now it may be affecting you as well here it is a major arcana so it's important you might find yourself here uh, a little confused intuition is very strong there may be secrets here that are, are being kept at home with this energy things are not clear when it comes to your home situation okay so there we have the fifth house the fun house the pleasure house dating romance uh, the three of pentacles to me it's about partnership it's working together now if you have a craft or a skill the, the fifth house is very appropriate because it is someone here that is a certain uh, special talent so working on a partnership here crafting something building you know the blocks of whatever it is that you are talented but if we're talking about dating here you are looking at things in a more practical way you might find that there's a meeting here um or you find that you have common a lot of common things with a particular person it's more practical type of energy here uh, i don't see you just going out and dating with this energy whoever is relating is mostly here again kind of a meeting looking at things of how we both can partner up type of energy okay so the sixth house is your occupation it is also here how you take care of yourself your physical health uh, co-workers here uh, services given and i see that you have many options with the seven of cups but there's a certain sense of confusion it may be regarding because at home you have kind of a, a, a little bit of an illusion and confusion as well again you might find yourself here overwhelmed because of a, a lot of um, dreams and possibilities here but again i don't i feel like you you will find yourself between what's real what's not real here when it comes to your sixth house so Watch that out. It's not a major arcana. It's just, uh, you know, take it as a guidance in that situation. Do not overwhelm yourself. There's uh, maybe one uh, option here that you need to concentrate so you in, don't find yourself confused here with this energy. Okay, so what is happening? We will see the whole thing and then I'll see how uh, they relate with one another. Because I know that you want to start something here, something new. So let's see. Okay, so we're going to uh, go to the seventh house, which is your partnership. It can be marriage and a one-on-one -on -one connection here. Wow, look at these two. Ego versus, you know, in this situation, the other person that you are connecting with. The hangman, what do you need to know that is happening in your commitment house, in your marriage house, one-on-one -on -one partnership? There's someone here that is hanging, self-sacrificing in there. Here you want to start this new beginning. And here, when it comes to how you connect with the other person, there, there's no much happening with the hangman. It's always just there, idealistic here, someone that has a dream. Uh, as I mentioned before, it may be that uh, this person has feeling the heaviness here of waiting in suspension, self-sacrificing here when it comes to this connection. So that's, that's the energy here for um, July. Just staying in there, dreaming um, idealistically here about this uh, connection. Okay, so the eighth house belongs to you, and oh my goodness, we have the five of swords. Now, the eighth house, it is intimacy here, it's also shared resources. If you have any type of situation going on here uh, regarding shared resources, you might find yourself with the five of swords that you have to defend yourself. There may be conflicted energy here. They may be feeling like, I'm not going to accept defeat. Um, it can be a little bit resentment. Even if it's an intimacy between you and whoever you're connecting, there's a lot of, uh, com I can tell you just conflicted. I see a lot of uh, a person conflicted and defeated type of energy here. Uh, no, no one is a winner with this energy. It can be conflicted of the mind here, especially since you, uh, you have the confident here uh, energy. So there's a lot of ego driven situation going on. Especially, again, you might find yourself that you have to defend yourself regarding your uh, shared resources and whoever you connect with. Okay, so what is happening here from afar? Uh, if you want to travel or if you're dealing with someone from afar, it looks like right now they're not giving up. They're very resilient. You are the person here. But it's, it's this situation that I'm just trying to defend here myself. I keep going and I'm defending what I've built type of energy. Very apprehensive. Um, very protected apprehensive energy with with this person now if you're dealing with any type of higher education here schooling you are going to keep going you are at the finish line but you are going to keep going here okay so what is going on with your career your vocation your social status there is that ace of wands which is very passionate uh, a new beginning 
you might feel inspired to do something else, uh, a new passion. It is very nice. It's good news and it is a potential. So you, again, I feel like career-wise, you're going to find yourself here starting something new. Um, good news coming in with that energy. Okay, so the 11th house. Visions for the future, goals for the future, friendship, social media, technology, networking. We have the Six of Pentacles. You may be receiving money, some of you here, through uh, a friend, through the collective in this, or through the internet, if you decide that as well. You might be finding that you're balancing yourself harmoniously here. This is also very, uh, the 11th house does deal with uh, charitable organizations here. And the Six of Pentacles is very charitable. You might find yourself here that you want, uh, you know, to um, donate in this situation uh, with the 11th house. It may be that you are, uh, and a friend here both have some type of exchange going on here. Uh, again, it's very uh, reciprocated type of energy. The world is coming in the 12th house. I'm telling you, isn't it interesting that we start started here with the full and we ending with the world. We all in this, we start the journey here with the full, but always is the graduating type of energy with the world. We want to accomplish whatever we set out in life. So to me, what is going on within yourself? You already know your destiny here. That's why you're starting over. You, you're looking and starting over can be, again, you deciding, okay, this is what I want to accomplish because your inner self is definitely here about this accomplishment with the world. is an achievement that you have to the destiny that you want here uh, to make. If you're dealing what's happening behind the scenes here, someone needs closure. We're talking about the sense of closure here. Uh, accomplishments in a good sense especially because of this heaviness that is being on so what do you need to know regarding this energy is that someone right now it does not want to create any turmoil they're weighing their options they're weighing their balancing it's a balancing act here between uh whoever that you feel this burden that you've been carrying it to the point here again that you are at the finish line type of energy so it's just a little bit going back and forth here uh, for July and it I don't think it has to do here regarding your career because you are very much set out you are feeling inspired it may be here regarding this intimate uh, connection because again as I said there's not a winner here with the five of swords even if you have to uh, you know make a point or win here someone will get hurt in this situation there needs to be um a certain type of information here that will hurt another person and that's why the two of pentacles is saying right now i have to weigh my options kind of situation i have to look which way to go i cannot decide i feel like it's not a decision here when it comes to this heaviness overall i just i'm going to clarify here uh the five of swords and see what you need to know regarding that energy in your house the eighth house let's see I have to say, I don't see much here when it comes to finances. Uh, I feel like career-wise, you have this opportunity. But when it comes to your occupation, you have a lot of options and you're overwhelming yourself. There's a lot of daydreaming going on here, uh, Scorpio, with this uh, six hours. And maybe because, again, at home, there's still things that are unclear for you. Uh, though your environment here, your mind is very quick to act and there's communication. And as I mentioned, you are going to be very abrupt you're very impulsive very fast when it comes to your thinking and your mind but because of your connection here with the hangman staying in suspension and your six hours that is very much a lot of options but nothing is being decided it may create that five of swords energy here no matter what you're looking at the full there so you want to start uh, from the beginning tell me about the five of swords here Wow, there's uh, there was a five of cups regrets. Tell me about the five of swords. What's going on? One more. Knight of Pentacles. We're definitely talking here about actions, but with the Knight of Pentacles, it is about finances. It may be regarding a friend here, especially especially conflicted here, intimacy between you and a friend. But if there's been any type of uh, problems financially, it looks like you have to protect yourself and you're ready here to play any kind of games just to win with the Five of Swords. There's no accepting defeat in, in that area um, of your life here. I want to see why you have the moon at home.
Why the no? One more. Wow, page of wands. Okay, so there's this is regarding some of you maybe regarding a child, but overall here regarding news. Um, who do you want to reach out? Uh, there's very much with the page of wands adventurous, uh, starting something over. Remember your career here or your reputation, something is starting. You're confused regarding some information, being very much flirtatious, adventurous here, or social media or contacting someone. It's affecting your home when it comes to your thinking and your wants and your desires because this is a very adventurous type of energy. Going, uh, and as I said here, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, going with the flow. So you are very confused regarding some news uh, that are pertaining your home situation here, Scorpio. Okay, guys, I hope this does resonate with you. I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.